Christmas shopping isn't what it used to be. This is December 2001. The mall is decorated. The mall is packed. There's hustle. There's bustle. People are festively spending money trying to figure out what to buy their stupid kids. There was love in the air because God hung a mistletoe above every mall in America. But that was then. And this is now. on the top of the roof. That's nice. Just like a present, the store is wrapped up too. Nice. <laughs> this is Burnsville Center, located in Burnsville, Minnesota. And even during Christmas, it's completely dead. So come along with me and my very best friend, Ben, as we tour this holiday wonderland. Yeah, four with gum. We're off to a good start. Obviously, the mall isn't doing too well. And if you look at the Google reviews, most people are talking about how there's barely any stores open. On Wikipedia, it says about 90 stores and restaurants are vacant. And it's sad to see because apparently, when this baby opened in 1977, it was all the rage. But because of some virus that affected the whole world, people stopped going to this mall. Yep, in 1992, the Mall of America opened in Bloomington, Minnesota, 14 minutes away from Burnsville. That's, uh, quite the competitor. Do shopping malls represent the decline of Western civilization? What's that? Do shopping malls represent the decline of Western civilization? Why would they do that? I'm not sure. I have no idea. Uh, Guys, these people do not represent all Minnesotans. We're not all this ugly, I promise. You must understand, we Minnesotans will defend the mall because we love the mall. The first mall ever was built here in 1956. Southdale Mall was the first to ever enclose the shopping center. We made it enclosed because it gets so dang cold here. But dude, the Mall of America is the greatest mall ever built. This is, this is definitely the first mall, I think, that people consider going to for a vacation. It's an ideal four-day vacation. There are other malls that have attractions, but nothing um, on this scale. At the largest indoor amusement park in the United States, Seven Acre Knott's Camp Snoopy, as well as um, the first Lego Imagination Center, and an underwater world, which is a 1.2 million gallon aquarium. Their mouths drop open, some people scream because they can't believe this is all under one roof. Yeah, that's cool, but uh, Burnsville Center's got a play area outside of J.C. Penney. And the Mall of America isn't the only thing that screwed over Burnsville. Did you also know that in 2020, there was a man-made virus created specifically to drive even more shoppers away from Burnsville? Crazy, I know, this mall has no luck, but at least there's some Christmas decorations. Y'all know who this is. Sorry. Oh, oh. <laughs> she was just on the phone with her friend saying, it's crazy how empty this place is. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. They have a skate park, though. A skate park? They have a skate park. That's actually really cool. That's the perfect thing to put in a dead mall. Yeah. They should just turn entire malls into skate parks. There's a, a level in the first Tony Hawk Pro Skater game that is just skating through a mall, so that'd be really perfect. That's the coolest thing. Here, I don't skate, but I, that would make me very happy if I was a skater. There's something 
90s and early 2000s about that. That's really, really cool. That's all I can say about that. Whoa. They used to have arcade machines here. Not anymore. This is the dead mall space. This is the most dead. We just ended up in the back of the mall. Thinking about what I should order off of Amazon later. We got zebra cake. Yo. Name another mod I got zebra cake. Top 10 models I got zebra cake. in the US. <laughs> <laughs> number one, Burnsville Center. Number two, Burnsville Center. Number three, Burnsville Center. Number four. I'd love to take a girl on a hot date here. <laughs> take a beautiful little angel out to the mall, you know? God, I'd love to do that. Where's my liminal space girlfriend? <laughs> Where's my liminal space girl? <laughs> my liminal space queen, where are you? Do you think it's like profitable to open up a store here? Because there's so many stores I doubt it. here that I can't imagine. I, I don't know. What is going on? Is there a zombie infection? I know. That's why they have it all locked off. Oh. Apparently, the owners are planning on redeveloping the mall, as well as making the area around it more epic and lively. But so far, that hasn't happened. And they were going to add an Asian supermarket and food hall, as well as create an entire extension to the mall. But so far, that hasn't happened either. The only thing that can save Burnsville Center now is a Christmas miracle. Until then, it'll remain the liminal space capital of Minnesota. A place for businesses to fail and for YouTubers to tour. Who knows if Burnsville will ever hustle or bustle again. But Christmas is a magical time of year. Maybe Santa and his elves are coming up with an idea right now to save them all. Maybe Rudolph will light up the dark, empty stores with his red nose. And maybe Mrs. Claus will pass out cookies where Starbucks used to be. I love Christmas, and I love liminal spaces. So Burnsville Center being completely disappointing was exactly what made it so special this time of year. It's like being happy after finding a lump of coal in your stocking. Sure, it sucks and you'd rather have something better, but when you stare at it long enough, you find something to laugh and smile about. You take the good with the bad and you think, eh, maybe next year will be better. Merry Christmas, Burnsville Center. Sorry you're on the naughty list. This time, say something about gay Santa Claus. I always knew Santa was a queer. <laughs> 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 <laughs>